From a floodplain forest to an urban estuary, families are celebrating marine science. Our Tara Lynn Wagner explains. Science! Seahorses, robots, and prehistoric creatures. Kids and parents got their feet wet with a day of interactive science in New York City's Hudson River Park at Pier 26. So far, I went kayaking and I learned about these robotic submarines. I saw crabs, plants. I just pet it on top of its shell. It's the Submerged Marine Science Festival, and a core part of the celebration is focused on the Hudson River Estuary. It's the first time the New York Hall of Science and the Hudson River Park have teamed up to put on a festival highlighting the 400-acre waterway. There's just some amazing stuff that's happening. There's underwater robotics that's being explored. So you can learn about seahorses. You can learn about what makes the Hudson dirty and how to clean it up. We only have one planet and we have to learn to take care of it better. Interactive exhibits ranged from kayaking and fishing to handling and learning about the animals that live in this marine environment, seahorses and horseshoe crabs to name a few. At one station, students are learning you don't have to be an experienced ocean explorer to operate different kinds of underwater robots, or ROVs. The ROV has a lot of things in common, and that would be that it has structure, it has flotation, it has movement or thrust, it has an umbilical, it has shore-based power, and it has the ability to do work. And so this ROV right now, we're going to use the J-hook to do work. So if I put this in the pool, it will float. And using the lantern battery, we can control it. I think kids need a chance to be very hands-on and understand that science is a very dynamic thing. And it's not just memorizing stuff out of a textbook, but it's a process of doing. And it's that process of doing that had these kids diving in. Well, I'm still waiting for my turn, but I tried one of the coat hanger things, and they were pretty cool. It actually wasn't that difficult. It was just switches and connections, current. It was cool. It's really cool. So, like, there's like a lot of cool stuff. It's really inspiring to like show us about Earth. Science is gonna help the. It's gonna help the whole civilization of everybody. It's just gonna help. For it ain't rocket science. I'm Tara Lynn Wagner.